Hey, Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. And happy run around the neighborhood like a weirdo day. It's costume trial day for one of us. And I feel ridiculous. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> anyway, this is our last run before a marathon, which will be in uh, just a little over a week. Wait from tomorrow. We'll have an update for you. Thanks for joining. Okay, well, we're winding down on our run today. Oh, we had one mishap. I knocked off our uh, wide angle lens somehow and lost the magnets to it, so oops. But that's okay. Uh, the other thing we need to talk about, outfit. Huh. All right, uh, so I ran around the neighborhood dressed like Sally today. Um. Pretty good. Frankly, in an outfit like this, there's lots of opportunities to chafe because there are, I don't know, like 200 seams. But uh, everything feels okay. We are just over four miles right now. If something was gonna rub, it would by four miles. It's extraordinarily humid today, so, and warm. So there's a lot of sweat happening right now. A lot of salt. Um, feels okay. It didn't move. I was afraid it might ride up and it didn't, so that's good. Uh, my pocket worked. I uh, stashed some food in it and it will be perfect for our potato wedges. Um, super happy. Next up, we'll uh, try out the Jack outfit probably Monday. Probably Monday. Short run. Hey, Happy New Year! Happy New Year! 2022, here's hoping it is so very much better than 2021. <laughs> and 2020. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, wow, <laughs> two years. So, we have uh, quite a, a slew of uh, updates we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. Costumes, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about travel plans, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to talk about food plans, food plans. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, reservations, because in uh. one week from tomorrow, <laughs> we will well, be running a marathon. In a marathon. Okay, so first up, costumes. Uh, if uh, you got this far, you already saw uh, the first run in the completed Sally costume. Yeah. Uh, so a little down to the wire with costumes mm -hmm. for this uh, for this run. Yeah. <clears throat> so we worked off and on all week on actually. Yeah. Off and on, you yeah, cut, off you, and on, you know, all week. You, you, um, you did your magic with cutting. Up we had to. Things. I had to cut the fabric, which was old race shirts. Um, I, I destroyed. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five old race shirts for my Sally dress, um, and once that didn't fit me, or were weird colors, so it's fine. And some uh, that didn't fit me. Uh, yeah, I did use one of yours. Um, cut the fabric. We painted the fabric because some of Sally's outfit has designs on it. So uh, we bought some fabric paint and spent a little crafty days painting fabric. Um, uh, heat set it. So the instructions on the paint are to iron for 30 seconds, at least 30 seconds, on the hottest iron setting that the fabric can handle. Well, it was polyester, right? Or like totally synthetic texture. So not very hot. Um, I did find after the run today, a very sweaty, humid run that I did get a little bit of bleeding, like where I have my spy belt. Um, okay. It's okay. Um, you know, the whole thing didn't bleed off, which is good. Right. Um, so we painted, we kind of, I constructed the dress. Uh, it fit okay. I was a little concerned that it might be too tight or too short, but it worked. 
Um, I think it looks great. You made a pocket for it? I made a pocket because my old running pants, so I'm still wearing my Sally pants right now. Um, my old running pants had this awesome pocket down the side. I think it was intended to be like a cell phone pocket. Mm -hmm. So it was like nice and deep. I always used it for all my food on long runs, um, but these pants don't have that. And the spy belt pocket is like this big, you know, there's only so much I can fit in there. So I knew I needed something else to carry extra food in because we have found that Jelly Bellies, oatmeal, peanut butter, honey, raisin balls, and uh, potato wedges are the fuel that we need for runs this long. That's a lot of stuff to fit in a tiny spy belt. So I built a pocket on the back, a little Velcro action. Um, so that worked out. Another thing I needed to do, I bought a hat, <laughs> a red hat for Sally, because you know she has red hair. Um, but despite the uh, minimum head measurement on the website, it didn't fit me. It was like, even with, it had a Velcro closure in the back, um, but my head was too small for it. So I added some, the fuzzy side of the Velcro to that. I adjusted oh, yeah. it so that I could tighten it a yeah. little bit more. And that worked, I wore that today too. Yeah. So Sally's done. Tested, done, no issues. I didn't have any chafing issues. The only issue was a little bit of paint bleeding, but I don't imagine I'll ever wear this again after next Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really specific outfit. Well, and so I'm working on the uh, Jack Skellington uh -huh. currently. So, uh, Laura, again, cut up fabric. Uh, Took an old race shirt, cut the front out of yeah, it. Yeah, and I started painting the uh, pinstripes for uh, uh, for Jack. Mm -hmm. uh, almost done with that. Then you need to heat set that. And then uh, you, you started assembling the lapel, all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. So Jack should be done uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday. Probably tomorrow. And then this yeah. week, we'll uh, I'll take it out for a, a short uh, run just to uh, check it out. We have some ideas for uh, some of the uh, uh, little... These little bat bow tie thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, because... I don't know, you don't want to have, you know, stuff slapping you in the face while you're running. So anyway, uh, but I think they're looking really cool. I'm and, very pleased with how they turned and, out. You know, we get a lot of joy from from making stuff. So yeah. so that was pretty cool. So that's that's an awesome update. Mm -hmm. So we're you know again down in the water. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, we, you may if you've been following our videos, uh, you may notice that we don't really like referencing the bad thing that's happening across the, the world. Um, uh, you know, we know, and we have, uh, we understand the gravity of it and we have, uh, uh done our best to wear our masks and to socially distance. Uh, but here we are, uh, and we're going to, we're going to go to a marathon with thousands of people. Um, mm -hmm. and the latest updates, uh, kind of paint a, a somewhat, uh, scary picture in terms of, uh, uh, transmission of, uh, the virus. So. Uh, we are. We have decided that we are going to cancel our uh, indoor dining reservations. Yeah. Not a big deal. So what? Yeah. There's so much to eat at all the parks. We'll be fine. Uh, so you know, uh, we started. So that means that. our post-race pizza is out. Yeah. We were going to go to uh, the little pizza place in Italy, Instead, but that's okay. We'll gonna... just walk around the world and yeah. eat little snackies everywhere, yeah. and it'll be fine. You know, get some school bread. Get mm -hmm. some. Uh, uh, plant-based mm -hmm. stuff, some new plant-based stuff that uh, they have throughout Epcot. So, you know, that that's kind of fun. We're looking forward to that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So, you know, we've been doing that. We've been uh, also, uh, uh, the plans for travel. So, as you may know, uh, flights are getting canceled left and right. Uh, we have not received word that ours is And our canceled. airline hasn't been in the news for canceling a bunch yeah. of flights for so some reason. So, we're hopeful that, you know, we'll board a plane. Uh, and, uh, you know, mm -hmm. a few hours later land and you know, pick up our rental car and, and it'll all be good. If not, uh, we're planning on driving again. We've mentioned this before, uh, the, it's a 16 hour drive and we'll just have to figure out how to get there in time to get to the expo, pick up our race gear, uh, and all that good stuff. So that's the other thing that we've been doing. So, you know, we have a checklist, uh, that, and, and I am so grateful that you are a list maker. Uh, it, it kind of sounds like a lot and, and I was a little like, oh gosh, it's too, we'll, we'll be all right. But, uh, yeah. you know, we have a checklist that we're going through. Uh, uh, again, we're excited about going. It's just so different. Um, yeah. This is a weird one. I don't, I mean, we have our checklist and we, I, I can't believe we leave in like five days, six days. It just doesn't seem yeah. possible. Yeah. 
and I don't feel like we're quite ready <laughs> yeah. to, to travel across the country, but I, and like, like packing and planning and like, I've just, yeah. I'm not quite mentally prepared right. to but leave in a week. We'll be but. there. Um, it's, it's cool. And you know what? We are so looking forward to meeting new friends. Uh, and uh, maybe even making new friends. Uh, so, and gosh, uh, you know, running and completing a, a marathon. You mm. know, that, that, that's, that's really great stuff. Uh, we had a, uh, we had planned for a six mile run today uh, and we finished a five and a quarter. It was like 72 degrees and 90% humidity, which was great testing for, it, yeah, for the dress. Yeah. Uh, we have a cold front hitting uh, tomorrow night, which mm -hmm. uh, should drop the temperatures down to a uh, low of 27 and uh, highs, I think, in the 50s. So it's going to be a very interesting day when I date my, my, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, you're right. my costume, my costume. But that's okay. <laughs> um, you know, it's great stuff. Um, what else What else have we been doing? You know what we've been doing all week, this is mostly me, is fighting allergies. Oh, so wow. we mentioned cedar last week. Um and I'm just feeling really run down because of it. But um, I had a pretty rough allergy week and it occurred to me that I tend to get a sinus infection every December because of my allergies that just kind of like fester. Yeah. So I knew that's not what I wanted to happen. Yeah. So we took kind of a kitchen sink approach uh -huh. to attacking my allergies. I've been on Claritin, Benadryl, Mucinex, taking ibuprofen, uh, immunovitamins, uh, what Netting. am I missing? Netting like three times mm -hmm. a day. Um, hot toddies. Uh, oh, flonase. Hot toddies. Flonase. I mean, everything. <laughs> I mean, everything. and I feel okay. Yeah. Still a little bit, but it's not as bad as it was yeah. a few days ago. So, uh, we have been trying to fend it off for <laughs> so far, uh, so good. Week. I yeah. just gotta make it like seven more days. Yeah. Seven, <laughs> more day. seven more days. Seven more days. <laughs> Nobody can get sick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so that's been our week, yeah. basically. Yeah. So it's all about planning. It's all about uh, being ready. Uh, I think uh, in terms of uh, travel and stuff, you, you, we're just going to have to take it day by day. And, you know, we'll get ourselves there. Yeah. And, you know, we'll, and if we have to, you know, we'll just figure out things when we get there. In terms of the race, uh, we're ready. We're ready. You know, we can do this um, uh, again. We just want to beat our time from two years ago. And if we do it by a minute, we win. <laughs> Gosh, I would really like to do it by more than yeah. a minute, though. Don't know. We were out there for so long. Yeah, I know. We were, we were. <laughs> but it'll be all right. You know, we, we uh, you know, we're, I've got KT tape all over my body. <laughs> you're, uh, you're kicking Good at sink. putting it on? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, th there, you go, there you go. That means that the next video uh, will probably not be in a week. Probably not, unless we can figure that out. We yeah. couldn't do it last yeah, time, can, uh, last vacation. Yeah, I'll try. But our next video <laughs> will be the marathon. Uh, all the sights and sounds and experiences. Uh, we are so thrilled. There is nothing like running down Main Street and there is nothing like running through the castle. We are so looking forward to that. We're also keeping our eye on the weather uh, so <laughs> it looks far. It like it's going to be warm, but it, not as warm as yeah, two years ago. Not even. It, it, and if it's not as warm as two years ago, it's going to be beautiful. So uh, <laughs> if you're planning on being out there, check the weather. And if you're going to be out there, please say hi to us uh, when yeah. you see us. Uh, I mean, we're, we're all in this together. Uh, this is really great stuff. And I know you hear me say this all the time, but you, if you haven't, please subscribe, hit like, hit the notification button. But what you always hear me say is it's always an adventure with you. We will see you soon. It's 2022. Bye.